Welcome to the video guys. I almost made this one a couple of days ago, but I thought I'd wait and see what happens after Novak Djokovic spoke to the BBC. Well, guess what? I was right to wait because Comedy Gold has followed it thanks to old salty Sag. Now, as you all know by now, Novak Djokovic was booted out of Australia recently for trying to play some tennis while choosing what medical treatments he will or won't get. The demented political class over there couldn't take that, so made a show of it, which is obviously old news now. Well, the other day he came out saying to the BBC that he'd rather give up Grand Slam titles than go and get the jab. He pointed out that he's not anti-jab, he just feels people should decide for themselves what they put in their body. This is obviously true for 99% of people jabbed or unjabbed I'm willing to bet and is actually something I've said many times before. Most people don't care what you do or don't do, full bloody stop and likely never will. At the end of the day, it's only gonna be a few deranged lunatics who think the other way, which unfortunately includes most of the political and media class as the last two years have proven beyond all doubt. Most who never got the jab just don't want it. They might have had all previous ones going, but just don't want this one. Either way, it don't really matter. None of that makes them anything but free-thinking people exercising their right to choose over something they do or don't want. Now obviously Salty Sad really couldn't take that as we will see in a moment but first here is some of what Novak Djokovic actually said to Salt Mine Sajid Javid for a bit of context. Have you received any vaccination against Covid? I have not. Why? I understand that uh, and support fully uh, the freedom to choose you know whether you want to get vaccinated or not and uh, I have not uh, spoken about this before and I have not disclosed my medical record uh, and my vaccination status because uh, I, I had the right to keep that private and discreet but as I see there's a lot of uh, wrong conclusions and assumptions out there I think it's important to speak up about that um, and, and, and justify certain things right but I've always uh, represented and, and always supported uh, the freedom to choose what you put into your body. And for me, that is essential. It's really the principle of, of understanding what is right and what is wrong for you. And me as an elite professional athlete, I've always carefully reviewed, assessed everything that comes in from the supplements, food, the water that I drink or sports drinks, anything really that comes into my body as a fuel based on all the informations that I got, uh, I, I decided not to take the vaccine. But ultimately, are you prepared to forego the chance to be the greatest player that ever picked up a racket, statistically, because you feel so strongly about this jab? Yes. I do. But as things stand, if this means that you miss the French Open, is that a price you'd be willing to pay? Yes, that is the price that I'm willing to pay. And if it means that you miss Wimbledon this year, again, that's a price you're willing to pay? Yes. Why, Novak? Why? Why? Do because the principles of uh, decision-making on my body uh, are more important than any title or anything else. I, I'm, I'm trying to be in tune with my body um, as much as I possibly can. Now I've cut out a fair amount of that where he's explaining the fact he's not anti-vax or anything like this but then again you lot already know that. As I've said the only people who call or consider him anti-vaxxers are the media, Twitter and political fuckpigs who use that smear on anyone they can when the narrative needs to be protected. Clearly a man sticking to his principles even if he's gonna lose out financially is dangerous to them because he's harder to control that way. It is also rare in celebrity circles, let me tell you, for someone to do this, as most of them just continue sucking the teat regardless of what goes on. For that reason, the fact he said he would miss any future tennis tournaments that dictate medical treatments on its players is what obviously got Sajid Javid so bloody salty. This means I have to say well done to Novak Djokovic here, him telling the BBC he'd rather miss events to defend his right to choose is something I fully agree with 100% and literally always will. Sajid Javid on the other hand he gave us comedy gold that is on par with probably the best of them I would say. In fact let's dissect his latest bout of mental derangement that should actually include a sponsored by Pfizer disclaimer or something. 
The reason that you can have, you know, again, once again, you have millions of spectators for sports, including, of course, uh, tennis, whether it's in Australia or in the future of Wimbledon, is because of the success of vaccination programs. And it's, it's, it's interesting to note, really, that Mr. Djokovic thinks it's OK for sports spectators, all his fans, to take the vaccine that allows him to get back uh, to play the sport in front of them and earn millions again. It's OK for him to have them take the vaccine, but the vaccine is not OK for him. Well, that there is just truly amazing and would be funny if it wasn't the health secretary of this country telling a foreign national who does not live here what to do with his body. Let's be honest, sad prick Javid, you don't even have the right to tell us what to do with our body, let alone anyone else, and since we've got no jab passport bullshit in the UK, some might question why you have such a volatile reaction to something that should be irrelevant to him playing at Wimbledon anyway. Of course, many of us think it's because you're being paid to push this nonsense, which, let's be honest, this little rant here does not help in the slightest. Either way, though, it's still comedy gold to see him get so rolled up over freedom of choice.